Right, this sort of revision. So this is the revision exercise at the end of the chapter. So law, no, law number one, five to the power of three times five to the power of eight. This is the base number, five is the base number. Add the powers, add eight and three, you get 11. Five to the power of 11, first one. Another law of swords, if you're dividing, uh, write that down as eight and eight to the power of seven. That's the base, you subtract the power. Uh, 8 minus 7 is 8 to the power of 1 is equal to 8. So let's say we have 3 squared and there's brackets and 3. So what we do is the brackets mean multiply. 2 times 3 is 6. So 3 to the power of 6. Next example we have 16 to the power of 9 over 16 to the power of 5. So that's 16, 9 minus 5, 16 to the power of 4. 1 over 7 to the power of 5. Alright, so in this question, it allows us to write the following in, in the form of A. So if to write the answer in the form of A, which is the base, which would be 7 to the, to the P to the power. So 7 to the power of 5 is below the line, and if I move 7 to the power of 5 above the line, I change the sign of the power, minus 5. So there, a is 7, the power is minus 5, a to the power of p. Another example, okay, so another example, if I have a simple example, square root of 8. There's an invisible 2, so uh, 8 to the power of a half is the answer. Or if I do uh, square root of 9 is 9 to the power of a half. Okay, another example. 5 square root 17 to the power of... Three. So what we do is write down 17 to the power of 3 and then brackets. What does uh, the fifth root, the fifth, uh, root of mean? It means the power of 1 fifth. So now we multiply 3 times 1 fifth. So 3 times a fifth is 3 fifths. 3 fifths. Alright, stop and done. Uh, another one. 5 to the power of 3 um, over square root of 5 power 5. Alright, so what we do here, we'll leave the top alone for a second. And write down 5 to the power of 5. And surrender brackets. The square root, mean, square root sign means the power of a half. So still working on the bottom. We have five times a half is two and a half. Now it's three minus two and a half. Five to the power of a half. Right, five to the power of a half. You can leave like that. Or it's also the square root of five. Write the answer either way. Right, question three. So as long as you simplify the following, so you have 2 to the power of 3, back in red, to the power of 5, and then your brackets, and then your squared. So first of all we'll do, so we'll just change it, those brackets means they'll multiply by each other, we'll do it like that, so first of all you add the powers here, uh, 3 and 5 is 2 to the power of 8 and then you have the 2 on the outside the brackets means multiply 2 8 to 16 alright another example like that brackets 2 to the 9 over 
through to the five, and then outside we have a six. Right, so you go inside the brackets first, nine minus five is two to the power of four. The brackets mean multiply, six fours are 24, two to the power of 24. Uh, what question four? Square root of one two five. This allows us to simplify each of the following. So um, right, the square root of twenty five. So what two numbers? What numbers multiplied? We need a square number. So the square numbers are one four nine six twenty five thirty six forty nine sixty four eighty one one hundred. So which one will divide into that? So four. Uh, what if I, so we've got 25 times, 25 is a square number, times 5. Now we can get the square root of 25, which is 5. So that's it simplified. 5 square root 5. Another example. Square root 98. What square number will divide into 98? Uh, there we go. 98 divided by 98 divided by 49. So, uh, so it's 49. It's a square number. And 2. Square root of 49 is 7 times the square root of 2. Alright, so yeah, the first number has to be a square number. So, square root of 1 to 8. Alright, so what number, what square number will divide into 1 to 8? So, 64. So, 64, 88 is 64, times 2. Square root of 64 is 8. 8 root 2.